He arrived from Brooklyn Chelsea on the back of some very fine performances for them. This season, he joined Ligon Cities just before the commencement of the Ghana Premier League. And today, we are proud to have in our mini studio here at the team's camp, Foster Brimer, to have a word or two with him and to find out how it's been for him uh, playing for the club this season. Foster, good to see you. Thank you. L let, me, let me ask you uh, this. Where were you when, at some point before the start of the season, someone told you of Ligon City's interest in you? Yeah, I was, I was with uh, Brooklyn Chelsea, as you already said. Uh, I was with my father. I call him my father because he was there for me ever since I've been there. Uh, I was there and then uh, he spoke to me that uh, a club uh, like uh, Legon City wants me and he's fully ready to allow me go with full support. So I told him okay because he was more like a father to me and since he opened up to me and told me what I have to know and so I told him okay why not since you, 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 grant, you will be able to grant me the permission to go I'm good with it and he said oh, okay. Before a player signs for a new club, he would want to know one or two things about the club. Did you know anything about Ligon Cities before you signed for us? Yeah, I do. Uh, I have one or two friends before here. And uh, in the look of things, Ligon City wasn't Ligon City. It was uh, Wild Stars when being bought. And then the name was changed to Ligon City. So uh, I know a few players back in Wild Stars, during Wild Stars time. So I asked few questions about how things are being handled here and I was okay with it, with the explanation and all that they said. So that is the main reason I came. Would you say that since you took the decision to join Legon City's football club, you've been happy about that decision? I have, I have. I have uh, one most important thing is like, I'm, I'm close to my family also, so I, I never regretted joining the Gun Cities. I'm good with it. I'm happy here. And uh, I pray things continue to go well for us as we picked up things now. Let's look at the performance of the team this season. The league was very tough for us at the beginning. What, what do you think was the reason why we struggled at the start of the season? Yeah. Okay, to say uh, it's like we, we were more, there, there are too many, like we were more of a new guys coming together. So it was difficult, you know, uh, almost 90% uh, of the team, we are, we are new guys together. So it was difficult some point in time to gel up and to be able to connect with each other, to know what this guy wants, how he moves and stuff. So that was a challenging for us uh, at the start of the season. But thank God now we are able to connect each other, we know each other, so that is why things are getting better now. When you say there were a lot of new players, is it very difficult to uh, quickly get used to a player when you join a new club? Sometimes it's not, but sometimes it is, because uh, we, are, we are different people all together, you understand? We are different people all together and coming together in a club like Lego Cities, uh, it's not, it's not all that kind of easy like that. You may see with your eyes as easy, but when you are in the club, you, you feel the differences and some few things different from your club where, where you are from to join. So it takes a little bit of time to gel with it so we can get to understand ourselves. Yeah, I think that is it. Yeah. You play in an area where we've got, if you like, a lot of competition there. For you as a player, uh, when, you walk, when you join a club or when you walk into a team and in the position in which you're going to play, you have about two or three or four or sometimes even more players to compete with in the same position. Uh, what, what, what is the pressure like? Well, it's not easy. It's not easy uh, to compete with like top club players as we have now here. It's not easy. You just have to put in everything you have. You have to fight every day, every single day you have to fight because to get in into the squad is not easy because we are it's kind of like high top players that are brought here so you have to fight your way in and that comes with like fighting and training and stuff a lot of things so it wasn't easy but that is our game it, 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 it always happens out there this place so you just have to fight your way out into the team
Would you say that there is a lot of competition in the team for places? Yes, it is. Uh, even back when I was in Brooklyn, it wasn't easy. I have to fight in my first season there. I have experienced players there. So as a young child, I just have to put my head in, do things extraordinary, try to work extra. So I think there, that was what put me in because I would do something that my experienced player cannot, like those experienced players they cannot do. So that was a plus for me. So I decided to work harder and it pay off the same as this place. It's a new club altogether for me being here. So I just have to, you have to, you just have to do extra. Know what the club wants. You just have to do yours attached to what the club gives you as, as training and stuff. You have to do yours differently. Let's look at the team's performance in the last few matches. Uh, like we discussed earlier, the team was struggling, but in the last couple of matches we've played, we've been able to win as many of them. What do you think was, was, was the trick? What made the difference in those matches? Well, to say uh, we, we are now more as brothers, let me put it that way, because you could see the love. Because back then when things were not moving well, when we go back to the clubhouse, we feel like we, we are not happy because that is not what we want. So we keep talking to each other. Sometimes you go into uh, your brother's room as a friend, uh, your, your, your teammate, he goes into the room. We, have, we try to find out what we can do. Oh boy, this and this and this. We have to keep fighting because if as the first uh, half of the season things are not working, doesn't mean things are not going to work as time goes on. We just have to come together as one, talk to each other, try to find out what we can do. Not the good to tell, but we ourselves, as the playing body, we just have to try and get some things to add to it. And what could you also bring? Then all together will bring out the best in us. So that is what we did. We keep talking to each other and it's paying off now. So there were, there were some meetings amongst yourselves about the team's performance? Yes, we always do it. We always, to be frank, that is one thing we keep doing it because we all want the best for each other. We want something good out of what we do. So if things are not working out, what do we do? We just have to come together to, to find a solution to, you know, adjust to the, the situation so we can overcome it. And I think that is what we did uh, and it's working for us. Let me ask you about the last few matches that we are going to be playing in the league. As a player, how would you like to see the team finish this season? Well, I, I, I keep saying I, I would love uh, Legon Cities to finish. Maybe, if not in the middle, at least a little higher. Uh, so we could be proud because things wasn't working out for the first round. In the second round, we were able to turn things around. So it's just a massive... Uh, 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 a, a massive, uh, how do I put it, like uh, a, a connection or work we, we, we all brought out from individually to, to change things to this way. So I think uh, it's a plus. So you're confident that at the end of the season, the team will finish uh, a lot higher than we are at the moment? I prefer so we could go more higher. And I believe in my teammates, uh, we are very determined for the rest of the matches left. And by the grace of God, we are going to move. I am all. If I should ask you to give a final message to your friends, fans, family who are watching this interview, what would be your word for them? And this time around, I want you to look into the camera and uh, you know share that message with all of us. Okay, oh, I love you, fans. Uh, when things were not working out for us, you're still behind us, and now by the grace of God, things have changed, and we are doing our best. We, we ask that you continue to support us, continue to show the love as you started with us, continue to show us the, 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 the whole vibe so we could continue winning the rest of the matches. Thank you. Foster, thank you very much. You're welcome.